Hey Pokemon trainers, welcome to another edition of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. So, we just came off a, uh, a game with the old uh, Relentless Flame deck, and we grabbed a win off of that, so pretty cool win. Go, to, go ahead and go check it out if you have not already done so. Uh, I think you'll enjoy that game. That game was pretty fun. Um, so let's jump in with the Torrential Cannon right now, and, uh, and see if we can't get that win streak a little bit higher. We have it at 3 right now. Uh, we have had it at 6 before, so... Uh, why not get it back up to six, I guess? All right, we are going up against Lycan Rock. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I do know that I want to keep sort of a, uh, a light, a light-ish bench. Um, but whenever I can, we'll get rid of those Duskulls and stuff like that. Um, this deck is going to be a little bit harder to keep a light bench on. Um, I usually end up filling it up pretty bad or pretty quickly, but I think we should be able to do okay uh, with playing around um, like in rock and uh, and what's his face dusk the big dusk thing I can't remember the name uh, but both of them hit based on how many how many bench Pokemon there are and I think neither one of them get really super high um, as far as their their energy. So I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much about it. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad. We can howl on this first turn uh, and grab a whole bunch of draw. Uh, and hopefully grab... Oh, Jesus. And hopefully get some uh, some help for us. Uh, but like I said, we're going to keep about three Pokemon on the board. I'm going to have a Squirtle. I'm going to look for a Pidgey. And I'm also going to look for a Psyduck. Uh, having those three on. Actually, maybe I might... Uh, it might be prudent to go for two... Um, two Squirtles. Or two Blastoises, whatever. Uh, that might be a little bit better than uh, than spreading it out between the three. But I definitely want to get a Pidgey uh, so I can start getting those draws off of Pidgeotto. So that should be okay. Uh, imagine my opponent's going to get a Rock Rough, as we see here, and uh, and we should be seeing Lycan Rock and Meowstic coming out here eventually. But we do have Farfetch for the draw, um, so that shouldn't be too bad. All right. Ooh, there's Pidgeotto. Let's hope we can pull a Pidgey. We did pull a Pokemon Fan Club, so I guess that's close enough. Um, but we're only, but we're not going to be able to use that until next turn. So let's go ahead and do this um, and draw a bunch of energy. So that's lovely. Um, so next turn we can do Pokemon Fan Club. Definitely get Pidgeotto going here very soon uh, to get the draw off of that. Um, what does this thing do? Allure. Wow. Draw three cards. That's pretty good. Plus 10 damage for each card in your hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're going to kill my Farfetch'd. He's going to go after my Farfetch'd. Bye, Farfetch'd. I mean, that was a bit excessive, wasn't it? 100 damage on Farfetch'd. I think this could be it for us. Uh, we're going to Pokemon Fan Club. We're going to go for Psyduck Pidgey. That's fine. Now we'll start getting energies on somebody, I guess. Uh, I don't think the Squirtle is going to do anything. I think it's just going to immediately die to this Meowstic. Uh, and that might be where we're at right now. That might be where we end up is just uh, is losing to a Meowstic. And, uh, and that's okay, right? We got a, our opponent obviously got a, a killer draw on their first turn. Um, and they're getting a killer draw on their second turn. So uh, so we can't really compete. Um, the best thing that I could do, I think, next turn is just putting Pidgey up and then copycatting and trying to get uh, trying to get things going on our board. But from for right now, we are playing uh, from behind pretty badly. Um, only good thing I can say is that there's no... Um, There's no dust skull out yet, um, but that's kind of the only, the only uh, positive thing that I can say. Um, okay, so let's Pidgeotto first. Then we're going to Airmail. Switch, I guess. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Uh, I was just trying to see if I could pull a, uh, a Psyduck off of that. So let's go ahead and copycat. 
and pull a big old hand out of here. Hopefully it doesn't get too bogged down with a lot of energies. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, so we're going to put another Pidgey up. Excuse me. Yep. And then we'll go for the timer ball and look for a Golduck and a no Pidgeotto. Um, War Turtle, I guess. Yeah. And then we'll have to look for the. Uh, we'll have to look for the. Uh, it might be better to get Pidget. Because we're so behind, it might be better to just get Pidget. I think I'll do that. Um, we'll put Golduck up. We're going to go ahead and um, Amnesia this thing. Uh, and yeah, we'll pull it in from there, I guess. We don't have any energy. Oh, we do have energies. Alright, let's put that there. We're going to Amnesia. Hand Kinesis. And, uh, and we won't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, at least for a little while. Allure is going to be able to get him a bunch of draw, but I mean... Friggin' A, he already has his whole deck in his hand, so it's not really gonna matter. And it might be good to start getting our Pidget fired up uh, in order to blow some of this stuff off the board. And we'll see how it goes, though. Hankinese is kind of dumb. Actually, I probably should have swam there and just got rid of it. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, I really should have done swim there, and uh, and taken that out because that would have forced Lycan Rock or Soul Rock or something to come up, and uh, and we would have been able to do something. But this is, I think, a, a an okay stall. Um, it gives us a chance to look for other things next turn. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a great hand for doing that, and my opponent just passes on. I'm not sure why they didn't allure there, but uh. To each his own, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and put Psyduck in. That's fine. These Farfetch'd are going to be problematic if that other guy... Oh, wait. I didn't. I couldn't do Swim. Okay, that wasn't a misplay. I wasn't able to do Swim because um, cause I didn't have enough. Oh, there's the, uh, the Squirtle that we needed. So I think I'll forego... Um... Oh, wait. No, never mind. Maybe I will Cynthia this time. I don't think I need Pidget right now. Let's go ahead and Cynthia. Yes. See what we can draw off of this. Anything better? Not exactly. All right, so let's go ahead and kill this thing. We are going to have to deal with Lycan Rock. Um, but that's okay. Or Soul Rock. That's okay too. Um, I can deal with either one of these. And I think I'm going to how next turn. Uh, I can swim and get rid of this. This we don't have to really worry about. This we might have to worry about. Get out of here. Megahorn's not too bad because it is a 50-50. But um, we really stalled out our, our opponent pretty well last time. Um, how? First. There's our War Turtle. Needed that. Um, we keep amassing more and more energy in her hand. Uh, Cynthia's going to help out with that. Switch, whatever. Uh, we'll do that next turn. And let's go ahead and kill Soul Rock. Get rid of that. And we will be, just like that, um, a little bit caught up. There's our other Pidgeotto, so that's going to be nice for a bit more draw. Uh, Cynthia next turn is going to be great to get everything out of our hand. Uh, we don't really have to worry about losing our Golduck to this Lycan Rock unless Kakui comes out. We have a Kakui of our own, so we might want to think about doing that just in order to get rid of this Lycan Rock um, if it doesn't kill us. And I just lost a whole bunch out of here. What did I just lose? I lost one Kakui, and that might give my opponent a, uh, a false sense of security there because I do have my other Kakui in hand. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't see all three cards that went into the, uh, the discard pile. Um, so that's too bad. And these fight guys, they're weak to grass, so that doesn't really help. Uh, let's put Pidgeotto back up. Let's put another energy here. 
Airmail Blastoise, beautiful. That's what we've been looking for. Airmail Pidget, I guess. That's fine. Uh, Kakui. And then we'll kill, um, we'll kill Lycanroc here. Powerful Squall, nothing. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> obviously nothing because everything's in my hand. Uh, so let's go ahead and swim and get rid of this Lycanroc. So that's going to put us slightly ahead, but um, Rhyperior is going to be coming out. If I can get another Golduck, that would be beautiful. Um, but Rhyperior will die to Hydro Tackle, maybe? No. And it doesn't look like my opponent's going to be putting Rhyperior in. So uh, so they're going to be stalling out a little bit more as well. I think Lycanroc's going to come back in as well. Uh, but if I can get another gold duck, I'll be happier than uh, something. I don't know. I am definitely going to Cynthia next turn in order to get everything out of my hand. Um, but my opponent's really been stalled out by not having those Duskulls and whatever the other ones are. Unless this is a different deck. I don't think it is. I think I just played against this deck the other day and it had like Duskull and everything like that inside of it. So, um... My opponent's just going to keep throwing Lycan Rocks to me, um, and I'll take them. I'll keep taking them, uh, because this Rhyperior is not going to be ready to go for, like, a hundred turns or something like that. Uh, I have the switch, so I will put in Blastoise, just in case we don't get what we need. But I can't imagine we won't get what we need, because I have this. Um... Do I want to airmail first, or I definitely want to Cynthia before I powerful Squall, and I think I'll take my two airmails first or second. No, I'll take them afterwards. So let's Cynthia right now. I don't need Pidget right now, do I? I won't need Pidget for a little while until Rhyperior comes out. Um, and if Rhyperior gets four energies on it, and I can spin storm it, that would be uh, the best day of my life. All right, let's take our air mails. Brock's grit. That's fine. I always forget. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the order matter. I think it does matter. I mean, obviously it matters. But um, I don't know. It, it doesn't matter because it's all it's all random, right? It's all random. Uh, we will take another pigeon in our hand. That's fine. Brock's grit. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad, but uh, we'll have to wait. So let's Hydro Tackle this thing? Yeah, let's Hydro Tackle. And I'm not going to be... I have both of my Kakuis in the uh, in the old discard pile, so we're not going to get a, any extra damage off of that. But um, but having Pidget's going to be kind of nice. And I think it's going to come down to uh, to Pidget versus, uh, <laughs> versus Rhyperior. Um... And Pidget will win, I think. Pidget will win because of Spinstorm. Alright. Uh, Brock's Grit would be good right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to get my Psyduck and my Golduck and then all the energies I can get. We'll get all those bad boys back in there. We'll do a Airmail. Nest Ball. There we go. So we took the win off of that one as well. Um, so two, uh, two big fat wins today. Uh, so not too bad, not too, too bad. Um, we were able to uh, to catch up on both of those games. Both of those games we were able to come up come up from behind. Uh, or at least what felt felt like coming up from behind. I don't know if I was technically behind. Um, I can't read the board that well yet. But um, yeah, that's it for Torrential Cannon for today. I hope you guys had a really fun time watching. I had uh, certainly had a fun time playing. And, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.